All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play some more Talos Principle 2 PS5. Dude, we are 17 hours and 26 minutes into this game, and we're only halfway through. This is a big game. I didn't know it was this big. I think I beat Talos Principle 1 in like 12 hours, I think. This game's way longer. Obviously, it's way more in depth as well. There's a lot more things in this here game, which is pretty cool. So, in the last episode, we uh, talked to the townsfolk. So now let's go ahead and depart back to the mega structure. Oh, excuse me, sorry, the mega structure. What did the mayor say? I convinced him that we need to keep going until we found Byron. Did he want us to leave him behind? No, he's just concerned for our safety. And he's right to be. But we're going back anyway. Uh oh. We're back in the simulation. Great trials lie ahead of you, my child. But your choices will determine the future. Whoa, is that directed towards us? Melville, are you receiving? Yep. Welcome back to the mysterious island, everyone. How's the situation? Bum, 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 the rest of the that mega structure. Those waterfalls are so cool on the sides. Help, okay, because a lot of stuff doesn't seem to be working. Okay, check it out and see what you can fix. But please remember, what matters most is finding Byron. We must find Byron. Return him to safety. I have a feeling Byron's gonna play a pretty significant role. In this game coming up now. Activate towers zero out of three. More towers? Wait, what? Oh, I gotta go here. Dude, there's so many more. Well, we're definitely more than half, right? I've only got six more to go. Oh, so we're pretty much right at the halfway point then. Okay, sweet. And we're still missing some levels over in these areas too, which I might go back and get those, actually. Can I just... Hmm. Now we're going to like... Oh, we're going to like the desert now, I guess. Looks like it. Okay, cool. And these are, other ones are a mystery still. Okay, so... Let's see... We have three social media things here. Let's go check these out. Crier, the expedition to the Founder's Island has suffered a serious setback as all as all contact with Byron was lost during a foray, a foyer, I guess, into the interior of the megastructure. Byron is assumed to be alive, but trapped within a data stream overload and unable to disconnect. Several sources in the government express a lack of surprise in this turn of events, citing the First Companion's history of rash behavior Hopefully this gets people thinking about the dangers of populism, one source told me. It's been alarming to see people suddenly falling for this utopian foolishness. Hmm. Alright. I'm very happy to announce that the Gehanna Memorial Interactive Fiction Exhibition is now open to visitors. Okay, yeah. Optimist. Pessimus is commonly spoken of as the man in revolt. He is not. Firstly, because it requires some cheerfulness to continue to in revolt. And secondly, because pessimism appeals to the weaker side of everybody, and the pessimist therefore drives a us drives as soaring wow drives as roaring a trade as the publican. The person who is really in revolt is the optimist who generally lives and dies in a desperate and suicidal effort to persuade all the people how good they are. It has been proved 
a hundred times over that if you really wish to engage people and make them angry, even unto death, the right way to do so is to tell them that they are all the sons of God. Jesus Christ was crucified. It may be remembered, not because of anything he said about God, but on a charge of saying that a man could in three days pull down and rebuild the temple. Every one of his of the great revolutionists from Isaiah to Shelley have been optimists, and they have been indignant not about the badness of existence, but about the slowness of men in realizing its, God, its goodness. The prophet who is stoned is not a brawler or a marplot. He is simply a rejected lover. He suffers from an unrequited attachment to things in general. G.K. Charleston. Chesterton. Hmm. Rest in peace, Byron. Okay. Well then, I guess we are going back to uh, our little coaster over here. Coaster. Uh, whatever it's called. The underground tram. Let's do it. Into the capsule. Alright. And... I guess we're going... God, the, it's so finicky, you can't really select one thing without going to four different things. Can I go here, please? South one. <laughs> South one. <laughs> Thank you. Let's do it. I'm sending you a little software upgrade I put together that should allow you to detect which files will lead to a data stream overload. Unfortunately, I'm not doing this to help you avoid them. In fact, I'm going to need you to search for more. I'm sorry about that. But if we're going to unlock all the systems that aren't responding, you'll have to connect to the data stream, possibly more than once. It's the only way for me to get access. Installing software upgrade. Ooh, uh, look at this. Oh my gosh. What? Wow, this is beautiful. Whoa. All right, eight puzzles. All right, one Kate. In this area, there seems to be a problem with the the machine that makes the tetromino bridges. That means you can solve the puzzles, but you can't activate the tower. Look for a lab that lets you connect to the data stream. I already Holy found hell. I'll send you the coordinates. Wow. This looks really cool. Really cool architecture. That's so neat. The water is gorgeous too. This is a beautiful canyon. Wow. I'm kind of in awe. Okay. Gosh, this looks so cool. I love this area. How the hell did we get down, though? We're supposed to just go for a dive, I guess? Go for a bit of a swim, y'all. Oh, I see. There's a little path. So level one's over here. Am I seeing that right? Different music, too. Oh, this is cool. Wow. I, this looks gorgeous. Sorry, it looks really nice. Alright, level one's right over here. Dude, this water. Oh. So nice. Oh, little Cleopatra statue. Okay. Data transfer research log initiated. Okay. Alrighty, yo. Uh, level one then. Let's go on through. Phase entry. Wait. Oh, wait. Is there a new thing now? Phase entry. Teleport. 
Whoa! What? Wait, did we already have the teleporter or am I just bugging out? This little gate right here. Oh, it must be the exit, I guess. Okay. Hmm. So both need to be on to activate the fan, right? Yeah, okay. So we need two things. Um... If I put this here, will it will it transfer it? I doubt it, right? Yeah, it just spits it out. Hmm. Okay. Wait. No, that doesn't work. Oh wait, unless... Hang on. Can I carry an object with me? I can. So can I do this then, I wonder? Can I bring the teleporter with me? Okay. Alright, and I can grab the hexahedron. And teleport through. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh, uh -huh. Oh, now I just need the fan, though. Right. Detach fan. And teleport. Booyah! Yeah! Huh, that was fun. Yeah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, guitars. Damn, what a good soundtrack. Oi. This is Melville. No, this is uh, Yakut. What's okay, up? Okay, what's up? Uh, what's your analysis of the southern regions? The southern part of the island is a natural desert, basically just due to the chemical composition of the soil. I haven't been able to work out why it's so warm, though. It could be a warm ocean current or something to do with the megastructure's thermal output. New Jerusalem doesn't have the kind of equipment I'd need to figure that out. Gotcha. Do you think Byron's okay? I hope so. I understand why he was impatient, but he should have been more careful. Yeah, well, did you know Cornelius? Yeah, everyone knew Cornelius. After Eustathius retired, he was the only one left who was there since the beginning. Except I guess none of us really knew him after all. We all thought he was lost in the past, always studying the archive and the simulation. But he actually had all these secrets. And a daughter. Um... Are you disappointed in him? No, just surprised. Maybe a little sad that he felt he couldn't trust anyone with the truth. Hmm. What did you do in New, New Jerusalem when we went back? Mostly just made sure Pellegrino didn't mess up the VTOL. We only have a handful of them, and while they look cool on the outside, the truth is they're held together by gaffer tape and good intentions. There's a reason Melville's always complaining. Hmm. Uh... Society's unwilling to invest effort and resources into their infrastructure cannot remain functional. When you put it like that, it seems hard to argue. More and more stuff isn't working anymore, and eventually, there will be consequences. That's all. Alright. Level 2. 
Man, this looks so cool. Really interesting designs. A little rickety bridge. The escape. All right. Got some beams, red and blue, and a drill. Aha! All right. That opened up something. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, a teleporter too. Oh, I can't teleport through there. I'll have to do it through a different side. Hmm. But I need a drill. Okay. Well, I can bring the... Okay, the red's already through, but... I need it, like, out of there, though. So this is all I have to work with, then? Just these two pieces? Just one drill and one, uh... One thingy? Well, if I can run the red through there as well... Get two for one. Just gotta fix the drill hole a little bit. Can I even reach it at all? Oof, almost fell off. No, I can't. Of course, game. Of course. Hmm. <laughs> so... What the hell? Well, I can't teleport yet, right? At all? Nope. I mean, if only I can get the drill through there, that'd be nice. Unless I can do this. No, I can't get through the wall though. Those barriers. Damn it. That just opens up that door. Yeah, let me see if I can... Can I do this? Wait, I can? What? I could have swore the first game you couldn't go through the barred windows. What the hell? Well, alright, cool. Here's the teleporter. Alrighty-o. A righty -o. Be easy enough then. Grab you. Teleport out. Drop you. And then go back in here. Grab the drill. Teleport out. Okay. Alright. Now then. Can I do the blue with the beam? Yeah, I can. It's so crazy. Okay, so. Put a teleporter through there. Teleport through, and we're done. That was fun. Sweet. It was quite fun indeed, yeah. Nice. Got a new message as well. Expedition Mega Thread. Oh my gosh.
All right, just opinions. All right, well, let's keep on going. Wow. Gosh, this place looks so cool. I think I found my favorite location so far. I was expecting just like dry desert, like the first game. But instead it's like, we're gonna take you somewhere even more different and more gorgeous. Beautiful canyons, dude. With amazingly beautiful water. All right, level three. Through the wall. Hmm. Okay. Get a drill. Okay. Seems relatively simple. Oh yeah, I can just go right through. Alright. Drill here. Uh, bring you, I guess. Teleport through. Ah, I see. Oh. That's through the wall. Let me see if I can bring it through the ladder. I don't think I can, though. Yeah, I can't. Okay. Mm, all right. I think I messed up here. Let me do this. Oops. Teleporter through there. Oh shit. Well. <laughs> Hang on. Get this guy. There we go. Bring this over here. So I'll probably put it right here. Okay, back on through. Drill right through there. Teleporter right there. Bump up up. Wait, now what though? Okay, put this back on through there. And grab the drill, I guess. Teleport. Uh, I guess I can't. Oh, I can do this though. Teleport through here now. Alright, and then through there. Oops. Teleporter in here. Teleport back out and back in. Nice. Perfect. The particle clouds continue to be exactly the same. All right. Cool. Making some progress. Now for level four. Gosh, this place is so pretty. Have I mentioned yet that this place is really pretty? I think it is. <laughs> and there's those, uh... Let's go see what these guys have to say really quick. A little time capsule thing. In the early days, humankind lived in a world of unexplained wonders and terrors. The powers of the elements were understood in terms of gods and spirits. After all, how else could one explain thunderstorms and earthquakes? But as the realm of scientific knowledge expanded, the realm of the mystical began to shrink. The sacred grove, as Hegel wrote, was reduced to mere timber. But as superstition retreated, another thing was lost, meaning. In a purely mechanical universe, people yearned for the comfort provided by gods and spirits. But there was no way back. 
But what about the beauty of the universe? The perfection of everything around us, couldn't they see that? Not sure I can see that, Miranda. But I do think there was another way, a way forward instead of back. Faith not in an invisible world, but in ourselves, in each other, in the inherent value of consciousness and civilization. They never really found it, but I think that in those last months when their whole species was dying, they caught a glimpse of it. And that's how your mother was born. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, level four. Pushing through. Okay, teleporter in there. Okay. Alrighty. Teleporter can come out now. Oh, I got a hexahedron. Okay. So, teleporter over here so I can get out. Sweet. Alright, red to red. Hexahedron. 2D block. How am I going to do this? Because there's no windows. Hmm. Hope you know how to do this. <gasps> ah, I can fake it out. Ah, <laughs> very cool, very cool. Okay. And teleport. Boom. Damn, I'm knocking through these ones. I must have used the teleporter before, I would imagine, yeah. right? A couple of years back. Wait, where is this we thing going? Scavenging expedition to an ancient where are you going, little blue mist? South of New Jerusalem. It was enormous. Wait, where's it going to? An area oh, is it going to the door? Our whole city, just I think it's going to the door. To, manufacturing. to get me it across. Incredible to think about the <gasps> it is. Variety of things they produced. Dude, look at the, the detail in that. How restricted look at that. Are. And it even lights it up too when it you gets into it. Most That's really cool grown. detail. I didn't even notice that the first pretty, part of the game. But in a sad way. That's awesome. But this one wasn't. There had been some Gosh, kind this of game's gorgeous. Though. I don't know if it happened while the structure was still operational, or if something had just rotted through, but it killed everything. Even centuries later, nothing could grow. It didn't have to happen that way, and history doesn't have to repeat itself. But we do have to remember that it did happen once. Hmm. Good to know. Hiya, Goot. Okay, level five. Dyad. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what dyad means, but I guess we'll find out. Dude, the freaking... Look at this. See-through floor. Man, this is impressive. Okay. I know, guys. I know. I love this game. I know. I know. Teleport. This teleporter is one of the coolest things that the game has showed me so far. I love it. I love it a lot. I should be able to get through both of these fences, maybe? Let's see. <laughs> I can. 
That's pretty cool. All right, so right here then. All right, so same kind of deal, I guess, to teleport myself on through. Ah, another one. So how do I do this one? Let me see something really quick. Hmm. So I need a teleporter to get out of there. Teleport right through. Oh, dude, sweet. Gosh, I'm just knocking through these. Three more left. Gosh, this teleporting thing is so much fun. Alrighty, oh. Uh, let's over here really quick. I see some question marks over this way. Let's go see what it has. Kind of secrets in the distant land. Oh, it's a little mystery level over here. Jump! Cool. The water broke my fall, I guess. Nice. Oh, yeah. Minimalism. Let's solve this one later on, though. Just wanted to knock it out on the map. What are you doing on the map? How do I get back up here? <laughs> I have fallen and I can't get up. Uh-oh. No! Breathe! No, I'm fully submerged. No! No, oh. Guys, change your loading screen, please. Please just stop showing the main title art <laughs> every single time. It's kind of corny. Yeah, for real though, how the hell do I get... Is it back up over this way? Yeah, that was level four. Question mark. Oh, right up there. It's a little terminal. A little terminal. Oops. This place is so nice. Very peaceful, too. The music is really good. Alright, what you got, palm reader? Oh well. I'm just gonna kind of skim through these. You're welcome to read it. Pause if you need to.
problem solving. Founding. Yemo died today. Oh no! Yemo! Got an audio log, I think. Or not? This is a design right, for an improved charging station. Fascinating. Ah, uh, some schematics. There's another question mark too. Jump! A little bit of fall damage, but we're okay. Right, let's go find level six. I think we're up here somewhere. There's five. We got a little staircase right there. Look at that. That's so cool. Man, it's architecture. I'm simply blown away. Simply fascinated. All right, I'm guessing this is level six. Yep, looks that way. Level six. Translocator. All right. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. I can use this hedron and go backwards. Cool. Nice. Alright. Well, now we're through. Now we must this okay so this right here oh wait wrong side all right cool now we're through flip border Okay. That's it, right? Yes. Kick ass. Nice. All right, two more. The layout here is impeccable. It's got a really nice flow to it. Oh, this is not a little secret area. It is. All secret puzzle. Aerial warp. See, I just kind of want to do these ones now just out of curiosity because they look so fun. But I think we're going to come back to those. We'll do a time where we just do all the miscellaneous shit. All right, level seven. Up oh, this spiral staircase we go. Remote intercharge. Okay. Hmm. 
Oh, it's a swapping thing. Okay. Wait. Give me that. Swap with you. All right, blue to blue. There's a teleporter. Okay. Oh, but that one opens up this door. Is that what it, what's up? Yeah, okay, so. Okay, um. I guess swap. Yeah, okay, so swap with this, perhaps? Swap with that. Put that there. Okay. This the EMT jammer teleport out. Okay, now I'm just gonna get out of here. Cool. So now I gotta swap with the hexahedron, and then I'm all good. Oops. Sweet. Nice. All impressed. Cool. Oh, dude, it's a dude holding a thing. That's so impressive. Okay, what do we got here now? Matter of taste. Taste buds. What is the point of an, of an apple that cannot be tasted? I feel philosophical about it. To be an apple? <laughs> well, they did that pretty quick. <laughs> okay. Okay. Last level. And another little palm meter, too. Get some, uh, some more archives then. Okay. Upgrade. And got an audio log from Trevor too. Today, we were delighted to be visited by a bunch of protesters, these voluntary extinction weirdos who think we're creating soulless monstrosities that will destroy the planet. <sighs> they broke into the facility and started yelling at everyone. Fun, 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 right? Then, oh, then one of them lunged at Alex. Big mistake. Chernyshevsky grabbed the guy and literally threw him across the room. I mean, almost threw him all the way off the dam. After that, eh, the rest of them had a change of heart. Now, I'm telling you this because mostly it is not like that. But man, these people do exist. And somewhere in their shriveled little souls, they think that they're doing the right thing. They think they're being righteous. Now, to me, what Alex is trying to do is an obvious good. But that's not the same for everyone. Hmm. What's up, fellers? What you guys got? updated the Noema algorithm. It's working twice as fast now, and I think I can increase matter output by 25% if I tweak the modulator a little. I'm so excited! Nice to meet you, so excited. I'm Cornelius. What? Oh, <laughs> Dad! This is science! <laughs> you have no idea how long I've been waiting for the right moment. Alright, Melville, right? Yeah, what's up? What is it? What is it? What's going on with the megastructure systems? Now I suspect Byron is still logged in, and his presence has thrown everything out of whack. 
Entire subsystems are locked down, and everything that depends on those subsystems is disrupted. Hmm. Have you heard anything from Byron at all? There was a short burst of noise on the frequency we used to communicate, but that could have been anything. What can you tell me about Cornelius? He taught me a lot when I was young. Nowadays, people just know him as the museum curator, but back then, he was closely involved with every engineering project, and he was brilliant. When he encountered a problem, he'd always remain calm and keep working at it until he found a solution. I wish I could be that patient. Hmm. Why didn't Why didn't Athena and Cornelius just both vanish together? If I had to guess, I'd say so that Cornelius could still go back for anything they needed. He was always leaving on expeditions anyway, looking for materials for his projects. Hmm. Thanks. That is all for now. All right, level eight. Let's do it. Good old switcheroo, eh? Okay. Hexahedron. Okay, I see. So how do I switch? Take the fan off, that's unmovable. Hmm. There might be a reason to go up there for something. Question is just what? I see. Because if I'm up there, I can teleport in. Gotcha. Okay. So do this for there. Okay. Um. All right. Now we can get out. Teleport. Okay. Maybe this is just easier. Doing it with the teleporter, I don't know. Okay, I see. Cool. Alright, so now if I take this off. Put that there. Get on top of here. Put that there. Jump here. Okay, I see. So I need to bring the teleporter up here. No problem. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but let's try it. <laughs> no way, this will actually work. So the teleporter's up here now. Okay. Now I need to somehow get... Oh. Oh. Can I even? Oops. That won't work. What is the idea here with this? supposed to be in there? That can't be right.
not quite sure I'm supposed to reach this. Let's me. Oh, one I can use the execution, I guess. So, can I put it back here, perhaps. <laughs> oh man, just barely. Oh wait, if I put it up on the thing, will that work? Well, I can't work though, because I'm gonna be. No, that wouldn't work anyway, would it? This will work. Wait, can I? Damn it. Will this work? I think it does work. Let's just try this out really quick. If that works, I just need to get out there now. I can't jump on this, right? Or can I? Oh no! I might be able to cheat it. If this is even cheating, I'm not, I'm not sure. He yeah, doesn't let me do that. Damn it. Yeah, one more try, one more try. Oh, duh. So, here. The teleporter. Thinking this. No. Okay, how about this? This can go on top. I think she can stand on top of this one. Keep connections. Drop that. Teleporter. Boom. Right there. Okay. Keep connections. idea so now that's up there I can take this down put you there jump across keep connections put you there okay that worked okay cool wow cool took me a minute but we got it 
Yeah! So it wants me to find a science lab, right? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Because the, uh, the doors are shut down? I think that's what they were saying. Let's go see if I can find one nearby. See some stones over here. Push button. Oh, it's a puzzle? It is a puzzle. I guess we'll just see what they all do. No idea. Alright. I'll come back to that, I guess. Oh, wait, that was the puzzle. Hang on. I remember that from the, uh, the picture. Um. So there's one. Okay, this is the side that has missing one, so. Let's see. So it's closed up, down? Or down, up, down? Try that, okay. Cause I'm looking at it the wrong way. Hey, let me honestly. That's what I used to do for Silent Hill puzzles. Take a picture, right, and we'll flip it over. <laughs> okay, because now it should make more sense. Or am I wrong? Hang on, reset everything, reset. I gotta like look at my perspective here. Okay, now it's the right angle. Okay, cool, so. Put this one down. Down, down, okay, and then these two, that one says open, okay, and this one, there we go, did it, sweet, awesome, what do you know? Perspective saves the day. That's cool. Alright, neat. So now we can go back to that Cleopatra statue and get a little reward for that. I think we'll do that now because I think that's, we've hit the peak over here. I don't know what the hell all this shit is, but... Boy, am I curious. Oh, come on. I couldn't make that. Bogus. Okay, well, whatever, let's go back. Back to the start. Oh, is this the cave? Is this the lab right here? <gasps> it is the lab. Ayo, look at that, convenience. Good timing. Cool, we made it. Whoa. It's like a little sanctuary down here. It's an old guitar with no strings. Dude, wow. Gosh, these views. What's up? Look at this place. Alcatraz. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is beautiful. Mesmerizing. Indeed. That's how it lures you in, I think. You see all these beautiful things and your imagination starts working overtime. And then the puzzles, the towers, the mysterious apparitions, it all draws you further in, deeper into the trap. 
What if that's the whole point of this place? What if every time you have one of those visions, another little bit of you is corrupted, overwritten with the hubris of this place? Hmm. I mean, I'm weary of this place too, but my mind is blown. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to suggest you were uh, whatever it is I'm trying to say. I guess I'm just disappointed in myself. Byron needs me. You all need me to do my job, and I can't even use a terminal. If this is all really the work of the founder, I don't know, maybe she lost her way. Or maybe we're just not ready. But once we find Byron, I suggest we get the hell out of here and never come back. <laughs> uh, we'll see, I guess. We'll see. I wouldn't mind coming back, though. What is this now? Wait, is this like a, a magnetic pole thing? What is this gonna be next, I wonder? Let's use the palm reader. From Thura. Hmm. All in the universe. All right, power distribution. Overload, no! Oh shit. We're back in the simulation. Our ancestors kept telling themselves that the brevity of their lives didn't matter. But they had so little time to ever really think about anything. I've spent several human lifetimes studying this mystery and only now am I beginning to see. The simulation was built on top of material reality, unable to escape its constraints. In the same way, physics as we understand it, even quantum physics, is built on top of a deeper reality. A set of rules that define existence itself. There is a universal language of creation. And I think we can learn it. Hmm. The language Good of music. creation. What were they doing here? And how far did they get? I can't answer that, but I think I fixed the Tetromino bridge machine ring thing. I say I think because it's not in the schematics. And what I'm doing is hack work at best. Try it and see if it works. Sounds good. Another palm meter here. Ah, wow, more stuff. Sweet. All right. Well, let's go cross the bridge. Let's go light that beam, baby. This place rocks. The coolest I'll underground barker ever. From the data stream. Listen to this. Mother and father think of our discoveries as a language, a code. But I think they're wrong. They're so caught up in the technical details of running the experiments and upgrading the machine that they're not paying attention to the patterns we're finding, to the symmetries, the harmonies, the melodies. The fundamental language of reality is a kind of music, and it's beautiful. Beauty is an inherent property of the cosmos. I love the way she looks at things. 
Hmm. How the hell do I get back over there? <laughs> oh, I see. It's... I see. Jump! Okay. A little bit of fault damage, but we're all good. Alright. Now to make the bridge. Can we do it? I sure hope so. All right, let's proceed. Oh, I see. Oops. Oh no! Ah, oh, lame. Back to the regular music. <laughs> and then back to the intense music. Damn, I'm off again. different tries I gotta do here with this. That doesn't work, obviously. Try this. <laughs> How the fuck is this still off? That doesn't work either. I think it makes sense to go that way though. Maybe that? Okay, so I wasn't using the rotate button before, I don't think, so maybe that's why? Ah, okay. What do you know? Rotating it makes a big difference. Ah, the views. This thing is so cool looking. Wait, I can't forget too, I need to go back to Cleopatra and get my little surprise. Oh yeah, okay. Sweet, we did it. We did it! We're going to the big building.
Okay. Up the tower we go. Show yourself, Cleopatra. Welcome back, creature of clay. The forge Thank burns you. bright, but the sky is troubled with clouds. A mortal has ascended Olympus without the permission of Zeus. Tell me where Byron is. The workings of Olympus are disrupted by the trespasser. Pandora, fearing the wrath of the gods, has broken the paths to ascension. Uh, what about Byron? I need an answer. Prometheus is the friend of mortals who would challenge Olympus, but he is bound in the heart of the mountain, and few could break his chains. Okay, then. Sweet. I think it's safe to Southern Coast that got a trophy. This is the entity's term for the mega structure. It looks like our best chance of rescuing Byron is finding Prometheus and freeing him. How do you free a weird glowing ghost thing? I suspect these entities exist within the mega structure systems, and what we're seeing is just how they manifest to communicate with us. I don't really care what they are. For now, let's play along. Okay. Sounds good. Right on, we did it. We freaking did it. Alright, let's go get our little challenge star here from, uh... Cleopatra. Oh, please don't die again. No, damn it. That's so stupid. I mean, I get it, because you're a robot, but... And you start me off back here, that's awesome. I really can't cross that, that's so silly. I think it was shallow enough. Yeah, no, you totally can. I was just being silly. Okay, thank god. Yeah! Yummy. The wheel turns, but without the road, it cannot move. Hmm. Also, another question mark that I missed, too. Let me go and find that really quick. Is it up there, or is it around the corner? Oh, it's this? Inspect remains. I found an ancient human artifact. Okay. Interesting. Oh, there's another question mark up here, too. That was just a random find, really? Huh. Cool. Okay, where's the... Is it up here? Oh, I think it is. Up the mountain. Oh, here it is. It's a freaking palm reader. How did I miss you? It's an audio from Lithreiser. One day, undoubtedly, an expedition will pass by this island. It will seek to document facts and statistics to enumerate reasons for us not to look more closely. That is what we do now. We seek facts rather than truth. Because truth might frighten and unsettle the comfortable people who like to sit in their conference rooms and debate which corners we should cut today. These people like to imagine the chaos that could come one day, like a comforting fairy tale of distant darkness. But they do not see the chaos that is at our walls right now. The chaos that also lives within us. A force that is both necessary and appalling. Huh. Alright, well, with all eight puzzles done, we have knocked out... Wait, what was it? Oh yeah. The Southern Coast. South 1. And, uh, yeah, next time, let's play Talos Principle 2. We'll go to the Verdant Canyon. 
can only imagine it's gonna be just as pretty as this one was so i'm excited yeah good episode this has been uh fun puzzles i'm surprised how quickly i made it through those things <laughs> uh that teleporter tool is freaking awesome i love it and uh let's see what they have in store for us the next time thanks for watching guys been your host lord ty peace out <laughs>